Greetings, this is Warrior King and the time has come for the lions and the lioness to tell their own story. This is the lion's voice. Give thanks and praise for the wonderful blessing that's been poured on me. Give thanks and praise. Jah use yet an instrument to set the people free. Jah give all the powers to chant. Jah give all the powers to chant. Rastafari, the lion's voice. There was no one at that time who could imagine that the Chaz Master Fire would one day sit on the throne. He was a governor of a province, you know. Her grandfather was a king, Nigos Mikael. He was a king of Wallo, not a small fry. You know what I mean? So she come from power. Her family was a power family. So for her to really just hold that loyalty to her king man, um, again, this is the characteristic so as we modeling, you know, Rastafari Bridging, we have his Imperial Majesty and Pilate Slash of the First as our, you know, how to model certain behavior. That's our black prince. Empress Menin is there for the sister in them. What do you have to tell the people about Rastafari? Life of the world. The king of kings and the conquering line of the tribe of Judah. I like himself. Hey, yo, hey, yeah. hear them high, hear the black king on the 23rd of July. So tell them guy who prays God up in the sky, it's a lie. The Almighty living on your night. From ancient times, them are try. Them Romans know them just open them suit and ties. Criminals ain't got no alibi. They stole my people. Then them come spread out them genocide. Still, them couldn't kill. The lion will come conquer to the tribe Go to tribulation, I your nice tribe See separation, I your nice still rise That's why we tell them in America Live Rastafari in a every ghetto area We come to tell them in a Toronto state uh, Empress Menin, we want to talk about Empress Menin I want to uh, hold up this book here The Empress Menin Chronicles uh, compiled and partly written by Sister Santiwa. Some powerful works, contributions by our very own Dr. Waletti, um, who is part of our Lion Pride on Patreon. Uh, she contributed to this book and many powerful sisters. It's a, you know, I, I, I'm reading it right now and I'm learning. And we're gonna today episode we're going to talk about empress menin and the mission you know what was the mission yes we know his imperial majesty building of zion you know the the, the unification liberation of the african continent the raising the living standards of ethiopians at home and abroad we see all of those works we know the mission we're going to focus on the part of the mission that was brought forward by Empress Menin, what a joy, what a glory. Uh, we have to focus on our Ivine Muma, Empress Menin, uh, on this episode. So, before we get into the nitty gritty of the episode, I want to just take the opportunity to big up the Lion Pride. Big up the Lion Pride on Patreon. We had two new people join the Lion Pride on Patreon this strong. Uh, Fight Babylon, a regional Lion Pride on Patreon who had paused for some time, return, you know, with more strength. And I just want to say, big up yourself, Fight Babylon, one of our, you know, loyal Lion Pride on Patreon uh, supporters. Took a break, and, and it happens. Listen, listen, family. It's real. The Armageddon is real. I understand financial things and we're balancing so that's why you see i always take the time to big up the lion pride on patreon mm. let's get forward to the topic which is uh empress menin the mission you know how does that mission impact us in this time you know what are the lessons that we can learn from empress menin and i have a few that i want to discuss um first Number one thing that I want to emphasize with Empress Men and Journey is, is the loyalty to our king man. You know, in the 
Bible it says a man and woman will leave their parents, they will come together, they will become one flesh. And I think this is exemplified, you know. Um, you know this channel, we promote black family, we promote uh, the union, you know, marriage over here. I'm a married virgin uh, over 16 years, uh, coming up to the 17th year um, this year. So, you know, been with my queen over 20 years. You know, we support that living today. Um, but Empress Menin, the loyalty that is exemplified. And that loyalty was tested on her journey. Uh, her grandfather was the great Ras Mikael of Wallo. Um, I write about him extensively in my book, Haile Selassie's Ethiopia, Volume 1, Rise of the Priestly Warrior Kings. You know, we write about Wallo and why Wallo was so influential, formerly, you know, predominantly Islamic um, kingdom. And then, you know, under uh, the time of Emperor Johannes, you know, the leadership converts to Christianity. Uh, Ras Mik Mikael, formerly Muhammad Ali, um, is the grandfather, the father of Lijayasu, who is the uncle of Empress Menin. And, you know, um, one of the beautiful things, uh, you know, really it reminded I <coughs> of some of the history. And there's a beautiful work in here by Sister Santua. Um, a unique and precious love. Uh, and you can see the eye trait. And I'm going to put the, the description. Uh, and we're going to have uh, the Sistrin on this platform. So stay tuned. Look out for it. Um, and we're going to ask her about some of this. But reminded I of some key, key history. Uh, when Lijayasu and provided some additional details. When Lijayasu was trying to depose um, the Chazmach Teferi from the governorship of Harar. And he goes there, um, you know, there's an account of how he asked Empress Menin or Princess Menin at the time to stand with it, her family against her kingman and she refused. At the time she was pregnant, managed to negotiate to have the youth in Harar before she joined her kingman in Addis Ababa um, but just to show she went against her family and it wouldn't be the last time that she went against her family your uncle coming in and asking her to basically betray her kingman and she chose the kingman over family so this is a lesson for I and I you know so who um, a sister chooses her kingman is not to be taken lightly and I think we have to bring forward the community accountability into these decisions. Marriage is always communal affair, meaning parents should meet the other parents. And, you know, I mean, to, to some extent, some external vetting can take place within the community context and, you know, integration into community works. These kind of things we have to restore. Um, you know, reading this passage just reminded I how focused Empress Menin was on the restoration of the family because even at that time the family was weak. There was a lot of divorce in Ethiopia at the time of the uprising of His Majesty and Empress Menin. And, you know, this uh, work, excellent piece of research by um, Dr. Santiwa. You know what I mean? Um, dealing with how Empress Menen really worked alongside His Majesty to restore the prestige in marriage, you know, um, ending child marriage. You know, she was a childhood bride herself. She had zero agency. And w one of the things I loved about the writing here is, uh, you know, and I've never heard it framed this way, uh, Sister Asante were basically saying, and we're, we're going to talk to her about this, uh, that this is really where she uh, gained agency because, you know, she had no say in her uh, three pre previous uh, marriages 
all happened when she was a you know a mere child and this is the first time that she chose you know she refused to, to be a political pawn of her family because all of these would have been arranged by her grandfather these unions and same thing grandfather sent out Lija Yasu for God deal with you know this is Game of Thrones political chess moves are happening and at the time which Sister Santiwa also so eloquently states there was no great motive there was no one at that time who could imagine that the Chaz Master Far would one day sit on the throne he was a governor of a province you know her grandfather was a king Nigos Mikael he was a king of Wallo not no small fry you know what I mean so she come from power her family was a power family so for her to really just hold that loyalty to our king man um, again this is the characteristic so as we modeling you know Rastafari Bridge and we have his Imperial Majesty and by the last of the first as our you know how to model certain behavior that's our black print Empress Menin is there for the sister in them so that loyalty that was demonstrated by refusing to side with our family against our king man is again the hallmark of a Rastafari queen. Yeah. Well, I listen last side the first of the Almighty, and this is the Charles Match Quasi. Well, the global groundation, this one is for the black family. Well, since we're talking about the queens, then would I have to talk about Empress Men? Then, well, then, man, I'll be go pal him girlfriend. That's nothing about Empress Men. Then, well, then, go on chant until the world end. Would I have to talk about Empress Men? Then, well, then, all the girls we defend. Have it talk about Empress Men? Then, well, then, married in 1911. With a love that come from heaven, oh. well then You can tell her like your brethren She raise her little I see her children oh. Then, and she never deviate Never complain when the king a work late no, no. Or with a food up on the youth template Who oh, what a joy if you see a smile on her face oh. So full of grace as she the Vatican hate Well then, all the people rejoice yeah. Every spending at the children's choice oh. Well then since you're talking about the queens then You would have to talk about them press men then Well then, a man a big up all him girlfriend Not nothing about them press men then Well then, if we chant until the world end You would have to talk about them press men then Well then, all the girls we defend Have to talk about them press men then Well then well, the Jaya so daddy come With a dirty plan to come destroy the family One come separate the king from the queen oh. With the Ottoman team come set up a dirty scheme yeah. King Rastafari ride and come in And destroy those boys We try intervene mm. Impress men then so pure and clean mm. And this last year, I mean no say him the supreme Tell Babylon say ya dream them a dream We yeah. come to burn down them Roman scheme oh. Well then since you're talking about the queens then Half it about them press men then Well then, could I chant until the world end Half it about them press men then Well then, I'm an big old pal him girlfriend That's nothing about them press men then Well then, all the girls we defend Half it about them press men then Well then, queen mother for the earth Remember she gave I little lassie youth birth World War II she was so hard at work Heal all the soldiers when they get hurt oh, yeah, So full of grace yeah, yeah. she dress up in a long skirt Use her money if you build school and church Just oh, a smile on the face that make me you know what life's worth oh, Well then, all the people rejoice And press men in at the children's, children's choice, choice. See that. <laughs>